Wildlife tourism in Africa, an economic driver. Wildlife tourism in Africa is no doubt a significant aspect of the African economy, creating jobs and income for the local population while also encouraging conservation of the continent's iconic species. Introduction Wildlife tourism in Africa is an important sector of its economy, and it is on the rise. The continent has a wealth of wildlife that can be seen by tourists, and there are many places to see wildlife in Africa. The continent has a variety of habitats, including tropical rainforest, savanna, deserts, mountains, and more. There are also many different animal species to see in Africa, including lions, gorillas, elephants, and more. What is wildlife tourism? Wildlife tourism is a form of tourism that involves traveling to see and photograph wild animals in their natural habitat. It is one of the fastest growing segments of the tourism industry, and is estimated to be worth billions of dollars annually. The Negative Aspect Despite its popularity, wildlife tourism can have a negative impact on the animals involved. Often, wildlife is brought into close contact with humans, which can cause stress and lead to disease. In some cases, animals are captured from the wild and kept in captivity for tourist attractions. This can be cruel and harmful to the animal's health. When done responsibly, however, wildlife tourism can be a positive experience for both humans and animals. It can raise awareness about conservation issues and generate income that can be used to protect wildlife habitats. When planning a wildlife trip, choose an operator that follows best practices for animal welfare. Tourism dollars provide critical support for wildlife conservation. Every day, tourists from all over the world visit Africa to see its iconic wildlife. In countries like Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa, tourism provides critical support for wildlife conservation efforts. For example, in Kenya, tourism accounts for 12% of the country's GDP and employs 1 million people. This money goes directly back into local communities and helps to fund anti-poaching patrols, habitat preservation initiatives, and other critical conservation projects. Wildlife tourism also generates income and jobs for local communities. Wildlife tourism is a rapidly growing industry that generates income and jobs for local communities. The benefits of wildlife tourism are many, including the generation of foreign currency, the creation of jobs, and the promotion of sustainable development. Wildlife tourism also provides an opportunity for people to learn about and appreciate nature. By supporting local communities, Wildlife tourism can help to preserve natural resources and promote conservation. Wildlife tourism can be managed to minimize negative impacts on wildlife. Wildlife tourism is a rapidly growing industry that can have negative impacts on wildlife if not managed properly. Wildlife-based attractions, such as safaris and nature tours, can generate income for local communities while preserving wildlife populations if managed correctly. Communities can benefit from wildlife tourism by creating jobs and economic opportunities, generating revenue for conservation, and improving the quality of life for residents. To minimize negative impacts on wildlife, it is important to consider the following. 1. Location The location of a tourism development should be carefully chosen to avoid or minimize negative impacts on wildlife. When planning a new tourism development, it is important to consider the potential impacts on local wildlife. Animals may be disturbed by the noise and activity associated with tourists, which can lead to changes in their behavior and habitat use. 
In some cases, this can result in decreased populations of certain species. It is therefore crucial to select a site for a new tourism development that will minimize these negative impacts. One way to do this is to choose an area that is already heavily impacted by human activity, so that any additional disturbance from tourists will be minimal. Another option is to create a nature reserve specifically for wildlife viewing, where animals are protected from other forms of human disturbance. 2. Size Size is an important factor to consider when choosing a development. A development that is too large can have a negative impact on the surrounding environment. A smaller development will have less of an impact on the environment, and will be easier to manage. 3. Type of development The type of development whether it is a hotel, airport, or golf course also has an impact on the environment. The amount of energy used to power and heat slash cool these buildings as well as the water usage can be quite high. The building materials and furniture that are used in these types of developments also have an environmental impact. There are some steps that can be taken to mitigate the environmental impacts of developments, such as using energy-efficient appliances and fixtures, using recycled materials, and planting vegetation to help shade and cool the buildings. 4. Appropriate Design The appropriate design of tourism developments can help to reduce the impact that they have on local wildlife. This includes taking measures to avoid or minimize the use of artificial food sources and habitat alteration. In many cases, the development of tourism infrastructure results in the displacement of natural habitats and the introduction of new, artificial ones. This can have a significant impact on local wildlife, especially if it results in a loss of access to food or shelter. There are a number of ways to mitigate these impacts, including careful planning of tourism developments to avoid or minimize habitat loss, and the use of artificial food sources only when absolutely necessary. In addition, regular monitoring of local wildlife populations can help to identify any problems early on so that corrective measures can be taken. By taking these steps, we can help to ensure that tourism development does not lead to a decline in local wildlife populations. 5. Wildlife-Friendly Practices Wildlife-friendly practices such as minimizing noise, lighting and sight disturbance can help minimize negative impacts on wildlife. These practices can also help reduce human-wildlife conflicts, and protect both people and animals. Some simple steps that can be taken to reduce noise include using quieter equipment, turning off engines and generators when not in use, and avoiding construction during breeding or nesting seasons. Lighting can also be a problem for wildlife, especially nocturnal animals. Bright lights can disturb their natural activities and disrupt their sleep patterns. By using dimmer lights or shielding lights so that they are not visible from outside the area, we can help reduce the impact of light pollution on wildlife. Finally, sight disturbance is another major factor that can negatively impact wildlife. Construction projects, logging operations, and even recreation activities such as hiking or camping can all disturb sensitive habitats. In conclusion, wildlife tourism is an important part of the African economy. It provides much needed revenue for conservation efforts and helps to create jobs and generate income for local communities. Wildlife tourism can also help to raise awareness of the importance of conservation and the need to protect Africa's natural heritage.